the age old way of catching oysters here were by, is by tongs. And uh, they say the Indians called them that way and they're still using them. And uh, uh, it, it seems like to be a, a good way to catch them because that way you never deplete the uh, oyster beds. Uh, they, they make a living uh, and it's, it's the hardcore uh, people that do that. The watermen are hardcore, they have to face the elbow. They use the tongs, it's like two sticks and they're crossed in the middle and they have a rake on each end and they pull them together like that and then they lift them up on the boat and dump them on the boat and then they have to call through. Uh, it's 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 a hard way to make a living, really hard. I heard one guy say, anybody said he likes doing that is a liar, but <laughs> but it is a really hard way to make a living. But it 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 it's uh, people do make a living and make very good livings out of it. Uh, and it, also there's another way called patent tall, and that is limited to the Bay Area. That is a hydraulic, great big rig of hydraulic, and, and you drop it in the water, and then you pull your lever of the hydraulics pulls them together and it brings it, a, a lot of oysters up and dumps it like that. There's a few people do, that do that, not a lot of people. Most people do by hand tolls. There's also another way, the skipjacks, the dredge boats. Uh, they have to dredge by sail four days a week. Monday and Tuesday they can use power and uh, on those days they catch more oysters but on the skipjacks they drag their dredges behind them and drag over the bottom for a half a mile at a time and when they pull it up it's full of real big beautiful oysters and they dump it on the deck.